Hey guys, this is Chandan Kumar from India and once again I am here with another exciting tutorial for you guys on CG Tutes Plus exclusively. You must have seen in the preview what I am gonna make today. I'll make a C scene and the best part of the tutorial is that the method I have made the C with is uh, based on a plugin and the plugin is absolutely free. You can download the plugin from uh, the net uh, just free of cost and use it anywhere. And the name of the plugin is Hot for Max. A bit strange name. <laughs> but uh, if you search on net about Hot for Max, you will get this Google code link. And here you will see the plugin is available uh, for 3ds Max and of its several uh, versions like uh, 2008, 9, 11, 12. Just click on any of the uh, versions you want to install. You can see this plugin is very light in size. Once you install the plugin according to its instructions, you have to restart your 3ds Max and uh, now you are ready to play with the plugin. So let's create a C in 3ds Max. For that, I'll take a plane here. Now let's increase its segments uh, like uh, 150. More the segments, more the details it will have. And now apply Hot for Max modifier, which is originally Houdini Ocean because this plugin comes from Houdini software originally. Once you apply the modifier, you will see the parameters of it. We will see all the parameters one by one. But let's start with wave width. Increase this and uh, you will find some changes in the plane. This is size. If you decrease it, you will find uh, something like this. This is wave height. This is shortest wave. Choppiness uh, determines the crease of the waves. Resolution can increase the overall quality of the C. Decrease the choppiness value a bit down. Wind direction determines the direction of the waves. This is damp reflect. This is wind align. And this is time. Time determines the animation of the waves. It also shows you uh, the direction of the wave which is ruled by wind direction originally. I want the waves come from left to right. So I uh, modify the wind direction. Now time shows the current and correct animation. You can play with the wind align too, uh, which controls the wind alignment. Increase the wave height a bit. It's okay for now. Actually, you have to see which settings give you the best results. Crease is a bit high, so uh, you can reduce the crease, reducing the choppiness value. Now it looks pretty good. Increase it a bit. Looks much better. Now one thing uh, you can do. Uh, this is the gizmo of the ocean. So just uh, rotate it a bit. A bit angled. Something like this. Now the flow of the waves would look like this. Choppiness uh, bit bit down. 
looking pretty good. Now let's animate the C. Set the time to uh, zero initially. Make the auto key button on. First of all, let's increase the timeline up to 300. And now animate the time parameter by uh, 40. 40 will do. And now uh, you can see the C is animating. But there is a problem here, guys. It seems uh, like the animation is starting with ease and then finishes with ease. It's speeding up and speeding down. It should be in constant speed. So to amend this, select the plane, go to graph editors, open the curve editor, And here the plane is modifier object hood in the ocean and here is the time you can see the curve here it starts with ease and then ends with ease so to make it constant select the curve and make it linear and now um, the animation uh, the speed has uh, become constant Now the lighting part comes. Go to rendering, render setup, and here at bottom um, in assign renderer, choose mental ray. Okay. Now go to systems, daylight, click on yes, and uh, now drag the daylight in the scene. Go to some other viewport. This is the daylight. To control it manually, you have to set it to a uh, manual and then place it anywhere. And now let's give some material to the C. So press M to open the material editor and uh, instead of standard, choose arc and design. And here select the template of um, water reflective surface which is used for making rivers oceans etc and once it is chosen uh, select the plane and up uh, and apply this material to it uh, one thing i forgot to do uh, select the daylight and choose sunlight as mr sun and skylight as mr sky Okay, and now if you render the scene, you will find something like this. This is the first rendered look. It's looking good, but there are some problems here. You can see this gray area. This doesn't look good. So you can amend this. For this, select the light and um, Here this is the value which determines this. So make it a bit low. Something like uh, minus uh, 1.3 will do. Okay. And since the scene is uh, a bit dark, so increase the multiplier of MR sky like uh, 2.5. And now if you render the scene, it looks much better. You can make several variations of the scene by just playing with the light position. Like if you place the light here and then render the scene, you will find something like this. It's quite amazing and impressive. The light determines the time and ambience of the day. It's looking pretty good. But for now, I'll place the light here. Now let's do one thing. Scale up the plane. 
I want to make it bigger. Actually, I want to make it quite big. Reposition uh, the plane. Reposition the light too. And now see how does it look like. Pretty good on a bigger scale. Now let's see how does the animation look like. I have already rendered the frames and I don't want to render this scene because it will really take very long to render all the frames. So let's move to After Effects. I have all the rendered frames. So let's import the frames in image sequence. Okay. Let me make some uh, room for the video. And uh, you can easily see how does it look like. Now let's make an adjustment layer here. And uh, just draw a small rectangular mask here. And apply a Gaussian blur on this layer. Increase it a bit. And uh, increase the feather of the mask too. And now it looks pretty good. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial very much. My suggestion is to play with the parameters of ocean and the daylight settings. You will really get different and awesome outputs. So let's meet in another tutorial. Till then, this is Chandan Kumar from India for CG Tutes Plus exclusively. Bye-bye.